When buying a home, home buyers particularly focus on schools. Whether you have children already, whether you plan on having children in the future, the great thing about Newton is its schools. So it's no surprise that today we're here in Newton, Massachusetts, named one of the best small cities to live in, according to Wallet Hub. It's some of the highest ranking schools in the state of Massachusetts and probably even the country. So there's a lot of different things that people love about Newton. And for us, this was one of the reasons why we moved here is because of the public school system here in Newton. So for those relocating from the city, relocating internationally or moving from street to street, you're gonna really wanna stay tuned until the very end because we're gonna talk about things about Newton Public Schools you probably don't know about. So let's dive in. So we talked about the three great things about Newton with its community schools and its location. And these are all like really good things because if you're a home seller in a good school district, home prices tend to be historically higher when you resell and also historically high when you buy. And where you buy a home in Newton is really different from village to village, not only because of its unique style homes, but also sort of the lifestyle. And so you have to think about that when you're relocating or moving to the Newton area. We can actually help you with that. So go to info at movingtoboston.com and tell us which neighborhood you would like to live in and we'll get that data to you as well. I mean, Gary V and Ryan Sayerhant just talked about this on their YouTube channel about why people move to Newton and to do videos just like this. I'm Katherine Kranenberg, a local Greater Boston real estate agent. I'd love to be your realtor of choice. Let's go check out Newtonville. So as a Greater Boston realtor, we get asked a lot of questions about schools. Hey, Katherine. What's your opinion about the schools in Newton? And officially, we can't really give opinions about it. And actually that's okay, because in today's video, we're going to highlight all of the schools, sort of like the ones that got built over the last five to 10 years and what's coming up in the next five to 10 years. Definitely want to stay until the end because we do highlight the majority of them because there are 15 elementaries, four middle schools and two high schools. We may not get through all of them, but if you're looking to move to the Newton area, you're gonna wanna focus a little bit on what each village offers, the proximity to the school. A lot of people move here because of how close it is to the city, but also for its public transportation. In addition to that, everyone here in Newton is really thrilled about the new superintendent, Dr. Anna Nolan, and she's really capturing like a lot of views of what the parents have been wanting, and that is a strong sense of neighborhood schools. Now, Newton doesn't only have public schools, we're also known for its private schools. Nearby Chestnut Hill, nearby Wellesley, we have a variety of different private schools, boys schools, girls schools, and co-ed schools. This neighborhoods on a price point has gone up since I've been here. I, oh, tremendously. I think my home <laughs> value has doubled since we moved here in 2010. Yeah. Yes. And that's a good thing and maybe some challenges, but I would definitely say that's been a big shift. I, I'm really excited about the possibility of more housing coming our way as well. Um, yep. And so hopefully that means that we continue to be this diverse, vibrant city that we are. Yeah. And especially to have so much of it to be around villages like Newton Highlands here, right on the T. And that's referring to the MBTA law that basically the governor of Massachusetts and actually Newton just approved, which is building more housing with the growing demand for the population and diversifying its villages to create, you know, basically more economy. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's really exciting for Newton. Yeah. It's exciting for villages like this, which already are so vibrant. They'll have more clients and customers coming their way. Yeah. And then some of our schools have lots of extra space for students. And so it'll bring more students, which is great too. So, Newton's awesome.
So if you take a look at this graph and you take a look at this site, niche.com, 2024 best public schools in Newton, the top one is the Newton North High School and of course Newton South below that. But both of them are really great schools. It just really depends on which area you're gonna live in in Newton. But these are some of the top rated schools. So if you take a look at this website, you can kind of see and get some more information about the schools. In addition, if you go to greatschools.org, you can also see from there the rankings of the different schools in Newton and additional details. Also, the address is really important. Again, it just really depends on which 13 villages of the 13 villages you would like to live. But go check out greatschools.org and niche.com. Hi, Jennifer. Yay. I'm so glad we could meet today. Yeah. I can't wait to share all the fun things. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> You too. It's one of my favorite coffee shops. Jennifer, I'm really glad that you could meet me today because in this video we're talking about the Newton Public Schools. And if there's anyone who knows about Newton Public Schools, it's you. Not only with your role of safe routes to school, but also, honestly, you were the first person that I met when I moved to Newton. I remember that. Oh you reached God. out to me as a PTO leader and yes. asked me all about Newton. Yes. Yeah. Being part of a PTO is obviously a great way to get to know your community a little bit better, and especially meeting new families and building the sense of community that I really love about Newton. Yeah. It's really one of the things that attracted my family to Newton as we wanted to move to a place where we could build deep community roots, and our neighborhood school model really facilitated that. I feel like the neighborhood schools are really special. I know the superintendent did a lot of listening sessions, and that was a recurring theme that Newton families really love this neighborhood school model. Yeah, having Dr. Anna Nolan as our superintendent has been a game changer, right? Yeah, did, did, families what, are really excited about Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. Kids go to school near their school so they can walk, you're in school with your neighbors. You see these same parents when you're dropping your kid off. Totally, yeah. everyone's like walking the dog and, yeah. and, and in the park, I mean, we see each other all the time with our dogs. I love that. And so with 15 elementary schools, four middle schools and two high schools, I think there's something for everyone here. <laughs> there really is. And this year in January, our public preschool was just rebuilt too. So there's NECP is Newton's public preschool and brings together people from across Newton too. That's really good because there's not a lot of them. So it's really good that that opened up. Which area of Newton? NECP is on Albemarle, which is over oh, right. where they're also building the new Gath Pool, which opens next summer, which I'm really excited about. That's our public pool here in Newton. Yes, yeah. and it's also near all the soccer fields and yep. everything, so yeah. Talk about community. I said it was a great community with great schools. But here's the one thing. So a lot of people move here either from the city of Boston, internationally, or even within the neighborhood. Do you get a sense that like people stay even though they're really drawn for the elementary schools? What, what, are your, what are your thoughts about that? I certainly see a lot of people moving here for elementary schools. So Newton is such a great place to commute from between having the MBTA, the commuter rail, express buses into Boston, easy access to major highways. They stay because it's such a great location. It's easy to get around. And then once you build this community around your neighborhood schools, then your friends all live here too, which is really great. Exactly. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we chose Newton, in particular Wabin, because we wanted to be near the T, and our children actually use it to go into the city, and, and that's really easy. And if you're an international family, which we have a lot of, yes. they're probably used to having some sort of public transportation. So that's really good. So you can always hit us up at info at moving to Boston, or you can hit the subscribe button or leave a comment down below because we have data on home sales, home prices, and all the different villages. The other village that we're visiting today is Newtonville, which is home to this high school, Newton North. And Newton North is pretty special. You've probably read about it in the news. Bloomberg basically noted it was one of the most expensive high schools built in the United States. Now, in 2009 to 2010, they were thinking they put a budget of about 40 million. Well, that wasn't enough. This school was rebuilt for $200 million. And there is some fabulous things about it. But what I love is that it's walking distance to the T, the commuter rail, and a vibrant Newtonville downtown.
Jennifer, I love that you met me here again today because Newton North has so many really interesting things about it, but there's new things coming down the pipeline for the school and it's already amazing. So what are those new things? As you might imagine, in our suburban community, making sure there's enough playing space for all of our many sports teams. It seems like everyone that I know in Newton, their kids play a million sports. Yeah. And the Newton North High School is getting better lights so that they can have sports later in the evening and also a new playing field, a new track. And so even though we're a tight suburban community, there are certainly enough playing fields so that high school sports yeah, are I a vibrant that. part of our community. Yeah, I think we do baseball. I think we used to do soccer. We definitely use the tennis courts. The other thing that's really interesting about Newton North is the solar panels, which if you can just see from this video, it's pretty spectacular. On top of the school, on top of the parking areas, they're covered in solar panels. Newton Public Schools are adding solar panels wherever they can across staff parking on all the roofs of the school. Newton is really focused on reducing its climate impact and being creative and efficient with their use of funding, replacing LED bulbs wherever yeah, they can. I love that. So today we're standing outside one of Newton's newest built schools, Anger. Anger Elementary, named after Albert Anger, who was a Wabin resident. And what is special about Anger is that it was the first rebuilt elementary school in over 50 years in Newton. It ranges from kindergarten up to fifth grade, and it's in the wonderful town and the wonderful village of Wabin, which we're gonna take a look at right now. What's also great about Anger is that it has fields for baseball, you have tennis courts in the back, and it's just a really nice walking area. So there are three great things about Newton, Massachusetts. It's a great community, it has great schools, and it's a great location. And one of the reasons why people move to Newton is access to public transportation, in particular this stop here in Wabin, will take you all the way into the city as well. So the proximity to living near Boston or having access to other neighborhoods is really great. That's another reason why people also choose Wabin. Since 2016, there's been not just one, but two new schools built. And this one, Frank Zervis School here at Beacon, also in Wabin, is the other one that just got built. Actually completed in 2017, right about the time that our family moved to the Newton area. And what's interesting about this building is that it was basically built to meet the growing demand of enrollment into the public schools and to the surrounding area, which has been growing and thriving. So thanks for coming along today and letting me show you my city and all the great things about Newton from its schools. You know, it's people like the people we met today that really like make this area thrive and make it so special. So when I moved here, this is exactly the things that I wanted in a community. So for those relocating here, this is kind of the stuff that I share with my real estate clients because a lot of times you can't really feel the heart of a city unless you have videos like this. So I'm really glad you stayed here until the end. And if you did stay here till the end, thank you. And you can always reach me at info at moving to Boston. You can also hit subscribe. You can text us and call us. So thanks for being here. I'm Katherine Krennenberg with the Moving to Boston team, and I'll see you on the next video.